to extend their work because, for example, some of these are deep in isolation wards and you can't see the artwork. So it's a way for them to have an outward and also to raise money for charity. I can I'll show you a few more. Some of them are handmade. This is a silk print. This is actually collage. Behind it is a little, this one, it's, it's a Tesco, it's called Every Little Helps. It's a Tesco flyer behind. So he's trying to make something that's going to be a little bit. I'll show you a, a project down here, which was actually made for the Thank you. 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 Thank you with archival images, but the idea is that we develop them with dementia specialists and inside the dementia ward is a patient. So Trigger's memory is now um, we're done in this corridor now. So we're just blocking people so you need to Sure. Yeah. So it's very Yes, well, one of the, my favorite stories that a woman working here said, I think I went to our so I started working at this hospital. Oh, really? And we have oh, lots and lots of letters and lots of emails and a range of things. So this first I want to show you how. It's uh, handmade. So this is fabric, you know, hand tipped with a piece of string. This he had hand painted. So each one is different. There's for you a lot of work in the ward. But it's a inspiration that Women and Children's Center was relied with these tiles by Moore Agmire's father, yes. who, who, who worked with Lem as well. Yeah. And so these are little, uh, these are examples of work that we have upstairs on the fourth floor. This artist just shows these quirky little everyday images, everyday vignettes that are kind of humorous, and these enlarged heads which carry with all the psychological ideas and dreams that everyone carries around with them. Yeah. So he just shows them doing everyday things. So Fantastic, you'll be able to incorporate art in lots of different ways. It's not just um, sort of uh, a gallery installations and things, it is no. a lot interactive Absolutely. with the patients. The, the range of projects we do, I was just realizing today, we, we're commissioning a memorial, 
for organ donation. And we've also had quite funny like uh, point of, of disinterest or funny smell or buried treasure. So beauty <laughs> spot. And these are based on mirror aroma types so they can kind of, the datum line is always the same. So they can kind of be interchanged. Fantastic. So the whole urban park wraps around the unit. And as patients sadly have to return, yeah. sometimes they say, oh, can I have another room so I can see the other vista oh, of that same oh. urban park. This is a project that was given to us, made especially by Harun Mirza, who Nick knows now, a well-known artist, part of our hashtag 100 NHS rooms. We usually focus on... It looks great. It's amazing, isn't it? There's so many different forms. There's the mural, yeah. and things like that. It's suddenly the key images of the last year. It's become really iconic, hasn't it? Could you tell when you saw them that some of these were just being these enduring images? Also, so, some of them have really powerful stories as well behind them. So actually, this one's always stood out. Right from the beginning. The lighting is it's from here. Yeah. And the colour. The colour. Yeah, it's exactly from the colour. And, uh, and just her dignity as well. And mm -hmm. I like a little bit of insouciance, you know, a little scowl. <laughs> yeah, it's really very this is PJ. PJ is one of the consultants from Critical Care. Hi. Hi, Mr. Very nice to meet you. This is Renz, who's one of the nurses from the emergency department. who has got a very personal story about a year in COVID um, that he might want to share with you shortly. This is Denise. Denise is one of our senior nurses who um, looks after... You know, the extra pressures of COVID and the pandemic was last year, but had it has a mood now, I mean, obviously, so there seems to be a bit of trouble, but how's everyone doing? How's I think, yeah, I think morale is good. Uh, we've uh, come through, I mean, the last few months have been pretty tough, um, sort of about stepping up, but we didn't know what, what was going to hit us again, and I think it was a really, really challenging time in terms of looking after the number of patients all departments came in to help us um, come from different hospitals and everyone just kind of like gets mucked in on just, you know, the ship to looking after the people who need to have surgery now and to go down into the food That's the thing is it's, 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 it's the aftermath of everything that everyone's gone through and experienced and then not being able to have some of let down after it as well. Did it affect you all personally as well? Because you not only have the challenges at work, but also you've all got your own family and your own personal lives too, and the challenge of balance and both of that. I've been really nervous for these three friends in particular to go with this, and I was really sick and I feel it for a couple of months, which is really good. Just feeling guilty when the second wave hit, because I wasn't there to help, you know, some of my colleagues who were really, you know, Having a hard time, and but yeah, thankfully I'm back. Well, then something to feel that you actually are. True, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I've had a lot of support from my seniors for, for everyone. And it's a really uh, agonizing year. Uh, it's surreal. I'm back, and you know, I'm trying to be better and healthy again. The photographs of her, it's the next century that is hugely worked with from what she's written now, so she was so confident about it. It's like this morning.
but we've just selected some images to show you yeah, to, that relate to some of the themes from Hold Still. Yes. Um, this is just a group of family images. Um, this is one of the earliest family photographs in our collection. Wow. It's a daguerreotype of Sir Charles Wheatstone, the great inventor. Mm -hmm. And what I loved about it is it sort of seemed to relate with the family photographs in Hold Still of yeah. you know, all of us around our kitchen tables trying to do different kinds yeah. of work. Um, so you've got Sir Charles Wheatstone looking at one of his experiments, um, which was a machine that measured the light properties, the wave qualities of light. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> that's what it is. But, I just know. don't know how they kept their children still in yeah. <laughs> That's what I love. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see there's a little bit of blur and movement, yes. so they're not quite still. Yeah. Um, and also I just love the kind of idea that this is a daguerreotype made in the studio, but Amazing. now we can take photos of home. Yeah. And then thinking of us all together, hopefully down at the beach this yeah. summer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, the daguerreotype... is it printed on? It is, so it's it is. Okay. Yes, indeed. So the daguerreotype process was still quite costly and formal, yeah. but it wasn't really until the tintype was developed that, you know, ordinary families were able to have their photographs made. Mm -hmm. So this may be the first and only photograph this family had made of them. And of course, the trip to the seaside. The amazing quality to the small images. And the intimacy, exactly. You feel really special and proud of it. This is such a treat. Oh, it's definitely clean. <laughs> do, you get, do you get to see it? I mean, it's not so much, because I mean, I'm in here sometimes, but... Um, I can't ask no. Smith did interview them, and there's various sorts of different um, professions and workers, from cab drivers, even photographers, um, sign makers, um, and these you can see are Covent Garden flower in them. Um, and the text describes that this is kind of an intergenerational um, kind of trade, and that the children were um, of the sellers would be um, brought in from a very young age, and that certain families would hold the same position, yeah. so you were always in the same spot year yeah, after really. year. Yeah. Um, and the text also describes how dependent that the, these families' income are. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, Hello, Hello, Congratulations. What do you think of the book? And thank, thank you so much, all of you, for being part of the project. Thank you so much for having our project. It's been amazing. Yeah. Have you have you been have you looked at lots of the other photographs that have been submitted and, and, and things? Have you a chance to read other people's stories? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's very impressive. I came across the book yesterday on my own. Yeah, beautiful. it's a beautiful window um, in our yeah in our kitchen. So I kind of she walked towards it and I'm gonna uh -huh. take my moment. Yeah. <laughs> when you took it, you see I read, it. I did. Yeah. yeah, I looked at it and I uh, she didn't like it. Um, funnily enough, but she was the one who told me about the competition, um, and she wanted me to submit a completely different picture no. of a rubber duck, so totally different. <laughs> <laughs> As we were sort of looking through, you used to look at the image and then you'd read the caption underneath. But all of that, yeah. after reading, you know, having gone through, you sort of feel like you're sort of the top of the called Alice in the Sky. Um, it was taken during lockdown. I was to travel up and um, took the photos in Captain Sir Thomas Garden. Oh, and it was published in Bali, so they had cups of tea and took photos and chatting. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a special memory you have had now. Florence Nightingale, um, again, this little introduction. Um, this is a taken of her shortly after she came back from Crimea. This is the work yeah. that Brunel, the great steam shipbuilder, yeah. there's another connection because of the petition of the government. The British government actually started building prefabricated for women and for um, people who couldn't have access to medical treatment. Mm -hmm. um, Nye Bevan, the founder of the NHS, also 